So, I hear you ask. You're on FM21, you want to look at your squad in some real detail, but the game doesn't allow you to look at all of the things you want to look at. And maybe you want to look at your players like this. It's the end of the season, perhaps, and you want to see which goalkeepers you want to get rid of, which centre-backs you want to keep at the club, and compare maybe the abilities of the players, the attributes of the players. In this video, I'll show you how to export your squads on Football Manager 2021 to Microsoft Excel. Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming. Welcome to a new video and one that is a little bit of an impromptu video but one I thought, well, I've just ended my transfer window in Football Manager 2021 and every single transfer window I, I always use Microsoft Excel because you can look at all the different reports on here and, and all the different attributes but you can't fit everything on one screen and I love a bit of data analysis and Microsoft Excel is so useful for providing this but over the years, I've spent hours and hours typing each typing each player in, typing in the abilities, typing in their best roles, and it is so, so laborious. And with a few clicks on Football Manager, you can get all of this data yourself. It really depends how much data you want to get to how much time this is going to take. But even if you want to get 20 different screens, for argument's sake, if you want to get all of these different screens in your Excel spreadsheet, it will probably take you three or four minutes max. And there is a very simple way to do this. Say that I want to get the reports of all of my players. In fact, let's not go for that one. Let's go for um, selection info as a start. No, let, let's just pick one for goodness sake. General info. So we can see all of our players. By the way, this is my beta save with uh, Wolverhampton Wonders. I didn't want to spoil anything I did with my niche transfer window, which you could see in the, uh, the introduction to this video. But let's say we want to export the players, the position, their nationality, heights, weights, ages and values. Click on your keyboard, Control and P, and it will come up with this screen. How would you like to print? Now, don't worry, it's not going to print this out. Now, make sure you select a web page. That is how it will um, export into Microsoft Excel. If you go for a text file, you have to do a bit of jiggery-pokery, and obviously you don't want to print it to your printer. Excel won't recognise that. So it'll then come up with this screen. It will usually go into your FM21 folder, but it all really depends where you want to save this. For the sake of this, I'm going to go to my user area, which is Toby. That's my name. And you can get all your usual file directories here. Obviously, yours probably look a little bit different to mine. So I'm going to save it in desktop. I've got a folder here called FM Exports and just save. And now I'll show you how that looks in Microsoft Excel. Well, it sounds obvious, but the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft Excel and go to the open bar here. Then click Browse. Go to wherever you're going to. So let's go to Desktop. FM exports in this folder here and then go to untitled and this will open what you've just exported now It might look a little bit weird, but if we did a bit of jiggery pokery We can change this to look a little bit better. Obviously, we'll get rid of the SI games hyperlink We don't need that um, and you can see that you've got all your information here You've got the names of the players albeit that some of the players are a little bit weird ones with accents It doesn't quite export correctly, but generally speaking, you know, that's Ruben Vinagre, don't you? It'll also bring out their positions nationalities heights weights ages and values so with a bit of jiggery pokery here, we can get this to look a lot better. Now, for those of you who are just watching this video to know how to export your FM21 uh, to Excel, it's done. So you can click off at this point. For, but for those of you who want to make this a little bit fancy, um, I'll show you how I do that to look like the previous screen that we showed at the start of the video um, in just a second. So back into FM21 we go, and you will notice that I had a few little things on my screen. I did three different exports, so I exported this first off, the general info. I then exported the report section um, to show what their best roles are. Now, the only frustrating thing with this is that, for some reason, it doesn't export the abilities and potential. It doesn't export the star ratings. And that's something I haven't quite figured out a, a fix for yet. So, if you are to export your plays, you do have to enter these manually. It's a little bit frustrating, I guess. By the way, what I did with Nice and what I think the best thing to do, all, all depends on the needs of what you're looking to export this data for. Select all of your squads. And then you've got every single player um, in every squad of the club. But we're just going to go for the senior squad uh, for this example. So again, control P and export as a web page. Go to your um, your file directory, which will be here now in FM exports. And make sure to call this a different file name or else it will overwrite the previous one. So we'll go for untitled 2. And then the other one I do is contracts to see when players' uh, contracts are expiring. It also gives their agreed playing time, which helps as well and in smaller clubs it'll show um, if they're full or part-time again obviously you can insert columns here to get whatever you want out of these players so again control and p web page and then go to fm exports and we'll call this one 
Untitled 3. Again, if anybody's got a fix for that uh, ability and potential star rating in the comments um, to show a, a, a figure from 1 to 5 in Excel, pl please feel free to leave it down there. So this is where the fun starts, really. You've got um, Untitled. This is the first spreadsheet we've got open. We'll then go to Open and open up Untitled 2. Obviously, this will have all the data in it. So what I do, I open the two spreadsheets side to side. The important thing to note here is that you do need to have the same player selected when you export each time. If not, this isn't going to work because it isn't going to select the correct data, if that makes sense. If you have Zarkic exported in the first one but not in the second, then it, it, it's not going to be right. The, the players aren't going to tally here because all we're going to do um, is go for all of these little bits here. Control C or right click and copy and then just click Control V and paste. It looks a little bit dodgy at the moment but that is okay. We'll then get to open and go into Untitled 3. Obviously the other way you can do this is to insert all of the columns um, from, the, from these screens into one export by going into the game um, and inserting columns. But that's just a bit of a laborious task. I think this is probably a little bit quicker but I guess it's each their own. Um, I would get rid of these two. We don't really need position selected and information. We've then got the names, positions, etc, etc. What, what we want to do here, why this has gone bigger, is because we've got, we've got the wrap text enabled at the top. We'll take that off and you can see that goes uh, back to normal. We just double click on all these then to make them uh, the widths that they should be. All the way to column U. In fact, I think I've probably done a bit more than... Uh, than I did usually, but uh, you can see we've got all the different things on here. I mean, because this is a full-time squad, we don't need to know they're full or part-time. We've got the wage, I probably want to extend that out a little bit and maybe take the per week off because it's not really necessary. So by doing that, we get um, find and select, replace, find P um, slash W and replace all. There we go, that's that done. Then expires, again, all contracts expired on the 30th of June. There's no point having data you can't do anything with. Now, this is what I've learned. If you do this, obviously you want to take off anything before 2023, it goes all funny. Undo that and just do 3006 without the um, slash at the end and you'll get slash 2022 or 2023, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but if you do just take off that and think that'll work, again, it doesn't. It, it's just something to do with Excel's formatting. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We've then got the values and then release. Uh, again, so a bit of jiggery poker here. I probably tend to have position in column. Uh, is it column? Column down, row across. Yes, fall across. That's right. So, put your position in there. Delete that. Um, you're probably looking for your best position, actually, aren't you? We might put two different ones in there. I just took the best position rather than their position. But, as I said, you can interpret this data and, and format it however you want. You probably had enough name. I'm not too bothered about heights and weights, to be honest, in my side. Nationality and wage are always important. We've got value at the end here, so we might as well take that out. If you want your style in there, keep that and we'll make that a bit longer. Again, best roles, best duties. We've already got the age in as well. I mean, squad numbers if you're really bothered about that. But for the purposes of transfers, again, I'm not bothered about that particularly. And then their agreed playing time, wages. Might we make that a bit longer. Their expiry date, their value, and whether you want to release them. Now, because we'd already sorted this by position, we're a little bit in luck, i.e. in the game, we'd sorted it by position um, in the general info screen. We'd already sorted it by position. But in the case that you haven't, then um, it is best to do this. Select all the columns. In fact, select all the data. That's the best way to go. Go to sort and filter and select filter. Go to position or best position, whichever one you want to filter. It's probably best to go to best position here. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Just get all the data, sort and fill, then go to custom sort. Yes, your data has headers, that's correct. Sort by, uh, we'll go with best position as we said. Now, the order A to Z is not the order we want. Now, you can see that I've already uh, got an entry of what I want my data to be sorted by. But you can add an entry by clicking add, hopefully. There we go. Um, have I just done that correctly? There you go. It's a big clue at the top with new list, isn't it, you donkey? Oh, dear. But obviously, the way that you want to do this is to put goalkeeper like it is here, and then it will it will um, do the data for you. So, D, C, D, R, D, L. Obviously, the likes of wingbacks will be took out of this, but there hopefully won't be that many in your squad. So, we, we can deal with that later on by automatically putting those into the... Well, manually, actually, putting those into the, um, into the selection 
criteria. So we'll click add there. You can see the list is populated into here. We'll then do it by that. And you can see all of the players have now been filtered into their best positions. Obviously, we've got Hover who's more of a wing back. But in my world, there isn't any wing back. So again, just go into this. Sort and filter, uh, not sorry, not sort and filter, custom sort, and then go again. All the merge cells have to be the same size, that's fine. Just select the, the data you want then in that case. And as you can see, it puts Hover in that right back position. Again, a few things I do is tend to put separators between the positions just to make sure you've got a bit of an eye between what you've got. Um, and as you can see, you put the separators in. Select all the different rows by highlighting all the cells and clicking control. I mean, I do love Microsoft Excel. I use it a lot at work, uh, in my day job, and, and just everywhere. It, it's a brilliant tool. I think um, Excel and Photoshop are probably the two bit best tools uh, around. You can see we've then put the yellow highlights between the players. Um, you can see that some of these row um, heights are a little bit different. So if we... Take probably that row height. What's that? 23.2. So I'll we'll probably put this to, say, 20. And you can see all the players are quite nicely separated now. You can tweak these and probably maybe unwrap text. That might be a better idea. And then you can extend these to how it looks. And that is okay, albeit not the same as the one I showed you at the start. But it's a little bit neat. Obviously, you can then fill in your abilities and potentials here. But I think this is a much better way, in my opinion, of looking at it through here. You don't quite get the same picture through here, in my opinion, as you do through here. And obviously on this you can add notes to the side. So if I want to sell this play, you might put sell and maybe put a, I don't know, an, an orange background on it. It just gives you a much more visual representation of your squad. And uh, that's going to be the end of today's tutorial. I hope it's been beneficial. It's something that I didn't know how to do. And I thought, well, I do know how to do it now. And I thought it would benefit fellow FM players probably sit there and uh, don't quite know what they're doing. And, and honestly, it sounds crazy, but I think I started inputting my squads into spreadsheets about two years ago, in about FM18 or FM19. And it has done my transfer windows the world of good. Because that screen in FM is just too convoluted. It's nothing against Football Manager, but there's just too much there. This just gives the data far... It just gives a much better representation, in my opinion. And you can go down, obviously you can sort the different positions by ability or potential. You would do that in this case. Say if you've got players here that are, just to give an example. Um, so you know that Connor Cody's 2 could rise to 3. We just select these 4 players. Sort and filter. Custom sort. We don't select that our data's got headers. We go to column, probably column I. And go largest to smallest. And then column J. And go largest to smallest. So what's that doing? It's sorting by ability first. So for example. Max Kilman will automatically be at the top. But then it's sorting by potential. So it will put Jack Watmore above Connor Cody. Because he's got a higher potential. And as you can see. That's another way you can sort your players. And that. Between those four players. Is a lovely representation. I know it's unrealistic. Because Willy Bolly isn't the worst out of these. But if you look at those three defenders. You think well. Willy Bolly's not good enough. I'm going to sell him. I don't think you get that sort of representation in the game. I really don't. And obviously, you can see their values here and go, oh, he might bring me in 20 million. Definitely going to sell him. And in some cases, if someone's worth 30 million and maybe their ability isn't good enough, then cash in. But uh, that's going to be the end of today's tutorial. I, probably not, I promise I'm not going to waffle anymore. Um, I have got a main save going on on my channel. It's called Conquering the Euro. We're doing the save currently with OGC Nice. And it's, it's, it's really exciting. We're aiming to win three separate European leagues. We've started in France with Nice. And we've just started our second season on the, over on the channel. So if you can go and check that out, that'd be absolutely awesome. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in another video of mine. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well. And if you really, really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for regular Football Manager 2021 content. And if you want to see any more tutorials, any more depth on this sort of thing... Uh, feel free to ask because I, I quite like Microsoft Excel and uh, I think I'm quite proficient with it. So again, anything with Microsoft Excel, any questions, feel free to ask. Apart from the question, how do you get Microsoft Excel for free? Because you have to bloody pay for the thing. Rant over. Anyway, I've been TIJ Gaming. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.